Hey guys, Anfinim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the sort of general idea as to how I ended up making this uh, redstone piston elevator that is just a bunch of mumbo jumbo mashed together, and it somehow works. So um, yeah, if I go ahead and I hit, uh, if I hit this button here, you'll see that the elevator will ride from the point that it's at. Trapdoors will come all the way up here, stay there for about two seconds and then get fired all the way back down and uh, that's exactly how uh, I'm going to make this elevator work except it's only only going to go up by four blocks rather than nine so why don't we just launch right into it and exactly uh, what's going on here so what I ended up making here was a bare bone model that has no redstone on it because what I've been finding is uh, in my attempts to record this video is that it's taking me way too long to actually get to the point um, and because I'm actually building the entire thing out. So I built the entire thing uh, to begin with. And as I place the redstone along, you guys will get an idea as to exactly why everything is where it is. So uh, like I said, essentially what's going to happen here is since this is the ground floor, uh, this is where the floor is going to be. And uh, I have the button right here. So what this button is going to do is it's going to fire all of these uh, pistons here sequentially. Like it'll fire this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. It'll push them all the way up where it needs to be. And then uh, the whole line will travel all the way up here. And then this one will get pushed, this one, and then this one, and then this one, which will push the rest of them all the way back down to the first floor. I see a cow down there. You better be despawned when I get back. Anyways, so yeah, why don't we just launch right into it? So the first thing I need to do is from this button, I need to get the current to come all the way down here to that first piston uh, when I push the button and then fire it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set a redstone torch here. And then I'll let me pull out my redstone. So as you can see, this torch is firing, is uh, powering this piece of redstone here. And when I hit the button, that'll stop. So uh, that's how we're going to make the entire current travel all the way down the line here. So let's do this. I need to place a piece of redstone here. Uh, not a trapdoor. That would very much be preferred to not have a trapdoor there because I don't need it. And there we go. So let me go ahead and let me place the rest of this redstone here, here, here. And I almost feel like I'm, I'm getting trapped. I'm getting trapped. All right, but there we go. So when I hit the button, you'll see, you'll hear this first piston fire because uh, the current travels all the way down this way through a series of redstone torches, and then it'll power this line and then fire off that, t fire off that pist uh, piston. And there we go. So it ended up firing it off just the way that I wanted. So the whole point of this whole zigzag pattern was to get the entire thing to fire, like I said, in sequential order. And uh, it has to be a, z a zigzag pattern because, uh, well, why don't I show you here uh, right now. So I'm going to set down uh, two repeaters right here, and then I'm going to have the entire redstone line travel up this way. So let's go ahead and let's do that. I can get rid of that. Uh, uh, there we go. So as you can see here, I have the entire line traveling upwards, and I'm going to build the rest of these up before I go and fire this again. So I need to place the next piece of redstone right here, 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 and then I need to repeat the pattern of uh, repeaters that I have down, he uh, down here, up here. That was kind of a tongue twister. So I need to place this just like that, and there we go. So let me tell you guys why this has to be a zigzag pattern and like you can't have them go off in every direction every time. If I were to place the next block right here, it would block off the uh, the path between this piece of redstone right here and this one. So uh, that's why I have to do it in a zigzag pattern if I want to make it as compact as possible. So let's go ahead and let's place down the next piece here. And this will be right here, here, here. And then let's place the repeaters. And then the next piece of redstone. Okay, so there we go. So now, as you can see, I have one repeater here, two repeaters, three repeaters, and four so and that's going to accompany all four of the pistons that I have on this side so let me make sure that the timing on all of them is right so this one's right let's see this one's right this one's right so let's hit the button and you'll see all of them fire but they're not going to retract quite yet so there so there you go as you can see all four of these fired so now uh, what this will tell us is where the ground floor is going to be for the top floor and that's actually going to be right here and it looks like it's raining. Yay, it rains so much in this world because I stopped the rain so much. So let's go ahead and let's stop the rain. All right, there we go. 
So next thing that I need to do is, uh, as you can see, I had all of these pistons fire, but these ones didn't. So I need to make the entire line travel upwards. So the way I'm going to accomplish that is uh, since I've hit the button, and uh, this is one of the pieces of redstone that, that fires in order for all of these to go off, I'm going to like extend this one piece to actually make it so that all of these will end up working. So let's go ahead and let's attach these as such. I'll place a piece of uh, redstone not. Uh, redstone torch not there but right there so when I hit the whole when I hit the whole uh, thing you'll see this well why don't I build it first before I go explaining it so this torch is going to be off this one will be on this one will be off this one will be on and this one will be off perfect so let me place down that right there uh, I think I did that right uh, no not quite now I've done it right that's what I needed it to do okay so when I hit the button down here, you're going to see the entire redstone line fire, and then you're going to see all of these torches uh, switch into the opposite position. So like note the bottom one here is on and the one above it is off, etc, etc. So let's go ahead and uh, let's hit the button down here. And as you can see, all of these ended up flipping. Uh, it looks like, man, I just have to type in all sorts of commands today. Alright, so the entire line went all the way up here. So now I'm going to take this piece of redstone here. I'm going to place that right there and then start the line going downwards. So what I need to happen this time is uh, when I hit, the, when I have this here, this one repeater will fire off this piston and I need the line to travel downwards this time. So it needs to go out from this piston to this piston to this piston to this piston in the same sort of sequential order. So I need to place these repeaters in the opposite direction this time. So, uh, and then I just need it to spiral downwards, uh, which works just fine. So I have these here. I'm going to place this repeater right here. This one here with one tick. And then I'll make the entire line move downwards again. So just repeat the process, rinse and repeat, and you will soon have a working elevator. But not if you have the, uh, the repeater in that direction like I just had it. So let's place this here and then continue the line downwards. So there you go. As you can see, well, we have built the entire thing out. Um, I didn't. I don't actually have any use for these two blocks right here because there's no more line to actually go down. So I can just go ahead and get rid of these. Now, uh, when I hit the button down here, you're going to find something is kind of wrong with this machine. And tell, tell me if you guys uh, think you know what's wrong with it when I hit the button. There you go. There's your problem right there. The problem that's going on with this machine right now is that the top bit fires too quickly. So what I need to do is I need to place uh, a few repeaters on this top area here in order to slow the machine down. So I'm going to get rid of these here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this right here, right here. And then I'm going to extend the line out a bit so that the entire thing will fire much more properly. So I'll place a few pieces right here, right here. And I'll get rid of this because I'm anal about things being uh, really neat. And I'll place the rest of the redstone down and then figure out where I uh, have room for the repeaters. All right, so I think I, I can fit one right here, right here. I think I'm only going to need about five. Perfect, and it looks nice and neat as well. So let's go ahead and let's hit this one more time and then you'll see the entire thing work properly. Uh, where's the button? It's down here. And there we go. And as you can see, all four of these fired. Now, you guys might be wondering why exactly it went wrong the first time, and that's because a few of these pistons were actually still extended, and pistons cannot push other extended pistons, so that's why you need to time this in such a way so that all of these uh, have retracted before the top ones fire, so I'll do that one more time. And then, so that one retracts, it waits about a second, and then all of these fire at the same time, so uh, if I go ahead and I uh, type in fly here to turn it off, so I'm going to turn the sound down because you get some some sort of annoying walking noise glitch with flying in that manner. But uh, no matter, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the button here and it will bring me up to the next floor. And there we go. And I walk off and I'm on the next floor and the entire thing gets pushed back down to square one where it can be used happily and merrily all over again. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover. I wanted to make uh, you guys clear on exactly how this ends up working. Um, and if you want it to fire from the top side as well, you just have to make some really stupid, stupid, uh, complicated device to actually get the entire line to go all the way downwards. Um, I, sh I could probably actually make that right now if I improvise it. Let me see if I can. So I need to place a piece of redstone here. 
Let's go with, let's see, one right here. Mm, let's see if this works. I'm not really sure if it's going to, but I think it will. Yep, this should actually work. So now I can place a button right here and have the entire thing work as well. There we go, and the elevator comes up, it waits a second, and then it goes all the way back downwards. And I'll turn the sound back on so you guys can hear that a little bit better. There we go. So I ended up making this like makeshift live here. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this particular video and I hope it's given you a better understanding of how the elevator works. Uh, I'm not going to be making videos like this often. I just wanted to make another part of this series to sort of give you guys uh, an insight on how I end up thinking of things when I end up, uh, you know, making redstone devices, you know, how the uh, how the mental process ends up going or the mental insanity in some cases. But anyways, guys, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this particular video. Um, either way, my name is Ant Venom, and uh, I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.